South Africa has more coronavirus cases than any other country in Africa, with nearly 640,000 COVID cases reported there. But despite this, students have been back in the classroom for weeks. Deborah Pata went to a school in one impoverished area and has more on how they are learning to adapt. Online learning is all very well if there's good internet in your neighborhood, but if you live in a poor township and don't even have electricity, it's impossible. So for many students in South Africa, going back to school was the only solution. Access to resources may differ from school to school, but protocols are the same. Temperature checks, masks, hand sanitization and social distancing. Dendron Secondary School in an impoverished rural area took it one step further. Every child here in this classroom knows that an education is their only ticket to a better future and they were not going to let a pandemic stand in the way of that. While other children were playing during South Africa's hard lockdown, these final year students moved in with their teachers who supervised their studies in small home groups. There are four, four people in each room and we get lunch there after school. Kupana Lepalala is Dendron's top performing student. It's important because getting a good education, especially in South Africa, it sort of like determines where you're going to end up in life. So you need to get a good education so you can get into a good university or even just become some, someone better as yourself. To make up for any lost time, these students are now at school every day from 7 in the morning until 9 at night, seven days a week. What are you going to do with your English? Principal Maloko Matsapola is teaching a larger lesson. In life, there's no excuse. Uh, there's no certificate that will be written COVID. I believe that nothing beats the human spirit. At an elite all-girls school in Johannesburg, access to technology has made the physical challenges posed by the pandemic easier to manage. The younger grades rotate between in-person and online learning so that strict social distancing can be maintained in classrooms to accommodate only 15 students at a time. But there are still emotional concerns. For some of the girls being isolated, not being able to spend time with their friends was really, really difficult. We had quite a number of parents phoning and saying, my daughter's for the first time in her life, she's experiencing anxiety or depression. The school psychologists have been offering counselling services, but for the most part, South African scholars have adapted quickly to schooling in a COVID world. At the beginning of this pandemic, there were infection outbreaks in some schools, but since health protocols have been adopted nationwide, most schools are managing to keep their children safe from COVID. Deborah Pada, CBS News, Johannesburg.